Hello, welcome back to the world's hottest, messiest uh, shed. I've got an update on the uh, shaper. Thanks ever so much for everybody who watched the uh, video and chatted to me on Twitter about the shape, the last shaper video I put up. Um, yeah, as I said that time, the only bit that was missing and the only thing that didn't work was there should be two of these blocks, one more that goes on this side, and these little levers attached to the block uh, should hit against this bigger lever which advanced the ratcheting auto feed mechanism. So I needed to make one up, so I have it's uh, made it out of um, aluminium and uh, in fact I chopped a, a lump off this recycled aluminium block ish block ish I mean I cast up some uh, recycled aluminium years ago into loads of big blocks just roughly in sand and as you can see it's not a great finish but every now and again it's just useful when I haven't got a particular size cut a lump off with a horizontal bandsaw and get cracking so yeah squared it up and cut this uh, groove out of the center uh, you just using a, a, an end mill and then used a slot cutter to um, a t-slot cutter to um, uh, cut these undercuts for the slot the original one has like a press fitted taper for this this thing this um, sort of um, thing that actually strikes the lever. That was a bit complicated, I couldn't be bothered. So I uh, threaded two M6 holes in, and then the one for the, the sort of knocking lever, I've just put a bit of threaded uh, studding in and uh, a lock nut, and then uh, this nut just is the thing that positions it on the rail. So if we slide it on the rail, and ooh, now one-handedly, and I can't find my 10 mil uh, wrench, which is annoying. So let's just uh, tighten it up with this adjustable badly god it's weird doing things one-handed and i'm left-handed i'm holding the handle of the camera with my left hand strange okay so that should do us so um the feed is actually disengaged but you can see that as we move the handle this um now these two blocks move the lever backwards and forwards but it's disengaged at the moment so if we turn it to engage one way You can see, actually you can't see because the handle obscures the stroke. There we go. You can see that every time I pull this lever forward, it advances the lead screw um, ever so slightly, which makes the whole tool mechanism travel slightly across. Now, in the last video, when I turned this around, I got it the wrong way and turned it twice, so it ended up going the same way. But this, you should see now, if you watch the nut on the end of the lead screw, it's indexing it the other way. So that means that basically you can you can uh, perform your shaping operations just by cranking the uh, lever once your tool height is set for the depth of cut. And uh, yeah, just kind of automatically advances it across the work. So that's it, really. The only other thing I did, I'm considering doing is stripping it all down completely. I've had this part in bits and cleaned up the, the jibs a bit and the slides. And um, I think what I'm going to do is probably strip it down and probably repaint it all as in the last video. But I'm probably going to do that in winter when, uh, you know, there's a bit more, when the evenings are long and dark and I can come in the shed and do a bit of sanding and painting. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta.